Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. In, so in the previous video, we create and design this delete and edit button. So in this video, we will work on this view button. So if a user click on the view button, he will be able to see his or her post and the comments on her or his post. So let's start. First, we will open up a new file. And we will save this file in the social network folder and we will name this as single.php and uh, then we will open up our HTML tags. Title will be view your post. And if we go to our edit underscore post.php file we will just copy this php tags from there and then paste it on the single.php file after this doc type and then we will close okay it's no, no let's start now we need to just copy this whole script tags from the edit underscore post.php file and then just paste it after this title tag and that's it so now what we will do in the body tag we will open up a div and the div class will be equals to row and then inside this div we will open up another div and its class will be equals to call hyphen sm-12 and then over here first we will open up a center tag and then a h2 tag and then inside this h2 tag we will type comments and then we will add a br so that the comments will be just display down below Over here we will call the single underscore post function. So now save this. This button will now will not work because we didn't create this function. So now we will create this function on in the functions.php file after the this curly bracket we will type function and then the function name is single underscore post so now over here we will type if so if I set and then dollar underscore get first we will get the post ID so dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id and over here we will type first we will type global because we need to use that connection variable so inside this if condition uh, we will create a variable get underscore id and it will be equals to dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id and now we will get another variable get underscore post and it will be equals to select all from the post table where the post underscore id will be equals to the variable get underscore id and then close that and now over here we will uh, create another variable run underscore posts and it will be equals to my sqli underscore query and then we will pass the connection variable and then the get underscore posts variable 
and now we will create another variable the variable name will be row underscore post and it will be equals to my SQL I underscore fetch array and we will pass the run underscore post variable and now we will now get the post ID then the user ID and then the content of that post and the image and then the post date so the first variable will be p post underscore ID and then row underscore post and we will now get the post ID variable so after the post ID we will get the user underscore ID variable so after the user ID we will get the content of that post and then the image and then the post date so after that we will now get that user who just posted that so first we will create a variable user and it will be equals to a query query will be select all from the users table where the user underscore ID will be equals to the variable user underscore ID variable and then post post will be equals to yes and after this we will create a variable run underscore user and it will be equals to my SQL I underscore query and then the connection variable and the user variable now we will create a variable row underscore user and it will be equals to my SQLI underscore fetch array and then we will pass the run underscore user variable and now we will get the user name of that user who just posted something uh, so username and then we will get that user profile image so user underscore image will be equals to dollar row underscore user and then the user underscore image variable so now we will get that user uh, name uh, who will be comment on that post so user com will be equals to dollar underscore session and then the user underscore email and after that we will create a variable user underscore not user I mean get underscore com means the comment select all from the users table where user underscore email will be equals to the dollar user underscore email okay we need to add double quotes over here and that's it so after that we will get a variable run underscore com and it will be equals to uh, my s a sql i underscore query and then the connection variable 
and the get underscore get underscore com variable and after that we will get a variable run underscore com it will be equals to my sq my sqli underscore fetch array and then the run underscore com variable and after that we will get that user id so user com id is the variable name and then the row underscore com bracket single quotes and then user underscore id and then create a variable user com underscore name go to row underscore com then the user underscore name and that's it so guys i think this is it for this video and in the next video we will continue our work on the view button so thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon